So puberty is a process of changes. And so obviously girls and boys go through it. And so precocious puberty is when these changes occur at an earlier age. So in girls, the standard definition is if they develop signs of puberty before age eight, and in boys, if they develop it before age nine. And what are some of the signs parents should look for? So often when we think of puberty, we think of um, axillary hair growth, hair under their arms, um, pubic hair growth, body odor, but true puberty in females is actually development of breast tissue, and in boys is actually enlargement of the testicles. And is this really common? It's starting to become more common. I mean, the age of earlier puberty in general has just moved. Um, it's become earlier and earlier over the recent decades. Um, we are seeing up to 8 to 20% of girls that do have slightly earlier puberty, even around age 7. Um, it does depend on certain ethnic groups, too. They tend to have earlier puberty. Um, but it's also thought that the initiation of puberty has to do with nutritional status too. So with the rise in the obesity, it's thought that that may be linking to earlier puberty. And a lot of times what we actually see in our clinics is what's called premature adrenarchy. So that's when you have the development of the hair, um, axillary hair, pubic hair, body odor, without any breast tissue or testicular enlargement. So that's not considered true puberty, it's just early activation of the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands are organs that sit on top of the kidney. And so that is something that is that we are seeing more often, and that could be a precursor to early puberty. Should parents be worried about that, if that's something their child goes through? So the reasons that we get concerned about early puberty is it can affect their height potential. So if they're exposed to these sex steroids at an earlier age, often these kids are actually a lot taller than their peers and they may look more mature than their peers. And so, but their ultimate height may end up actually be shorter than their peers and shorter than what their predicted genetic potential is. And then the other big concern is just psychosocially, like if they're able to handle it, especially for girls, if they start their menses at a younger age before all the other girls are developing, if they start developing um, hair under their arms or developing more of a chest before their peers is just feeling different from everyone else that I think it's important for parents to start preparing their children that th changes could happen sooner and a lot of times it does depend on genetics if there's a family history of a little bit earlier puberty versus later period uh, puberty that can affect um, when their children actually go through the pubertal changes. Is there anything that can be done to, to stop it or to help it or to prevent it? So I think a healthy diet and exercise is really important to avoid obesity. Um, that definitely can help slow down some of this puberty changes. And another thing is there are some culprits in the environment and um, what we call endocrine disrupt disrupting chemicals that could potentially trigger early puberty. And the biggest culprits for um, breast tissue are lavender and tea tree oil um, used topically. So we generally recommend avoiding those products. Um, and those are the biggest things to do to try to avoid earlier puberty. We kind of got into this because um, some personal care products have a lot of these chemicals and a lot of things that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you would consider maybe could be causing precocious puberty as well? There's a lot of speculation about that. There's a lot of other products like the phthalates, the BPA, um, paraben that's thought to affect puberty, but I think those um, chemicals are metabolized so quickly through the body, it's hard to really identify what degree, concentration of how much, but I do think that there's a possibility that they do play a part. But again, estro estrogen from tea tree oil and uh, lavender has um, been shown to uh, stimulate early breast tissue. Now, let's say a seven-year-old is going through this precocious puberty the mom that we spoke mm -hmm. with talked about some hormones. Are those things that young girls could take to delay that puberty? There are hormones that we use to delay puberty, but it's very important for us to diagnose that this is true central puberty. 
um, meaning that for some reason the hormones in the brain got activated earlier and are stimulating the ovaries to secrete estrogen because some girls will develop a little bit of breast tissue there's actually a mini puberty that toddlers go um, through but the tissue may not progress it may just stay the same it may even regress um, they may not develop any other signs like axillary hair pubic hair so in those cases we don't want to jump to treating um, something but clearly if it's the puberty changes are progressing it's ex important to treat and definitely at the at a younger age a seven-year-old may not have as much benefit in terms of height if we start treatment at that age so then the other reason would be would be are they psychologically ready to handle the changes that come with puberty and very often parents will say that they feel that their child is mature enough and can handle these changes and if they have a supportive family we don't necessarily need to treat so again the tempo of puberty progression is also very important because having a little bit of breast buds at age seven is not necessarily concerning versus within we see them back in three to four months and we see a rapid progression then we may want to consider treatment are there long-term side effects of treating precocious puberty N not that is well known um, there has been some literature that does show that um, treating beyond 12 to 14 years has shown some potential possible effects in terms of bone health but in general I would say that we should not be treating till that age so I'm not clear on the circumstances on why some of these children were being treated for such a long period of time I think treating them up until 10 to 11 years of age and then allowing their normal puberty to start at what we consider an appropriate age um, the risks are much less obviously it is a medication that's given through injection so bruising at injection sites is a concern and um, irritation at the um, injection sites could also possibly happen um, there is a six-month formulation now so it's only given once every six months previously every three months so the decrease in frequency helps and there is actually an implant that can be placed um, for one year so a lot of parents where their uh, um, ch daughters may be going through early puberty at age three four and they know this is going to be long-term treatment may opt for something like an implant is there any long-term effects for a girl who has precocious puberty then her body goes through puberty at a normal age and then later on in life is there something to be worried about so there's some cancers that have thought to be associated possibly with early menses like breast cancer but i have not found any literature that shows delaying puberty in those girls is actually going to prevent that risk so i think it comes back to genetics also in terms of what's the genetic family history so is there really a what is the largest concern for precocious puberty i think the biggest concern is the height potential so if you have a three four year old going through puberty it's rapidly progressing that would be very concerning because they could end up bearing it being extremely short and then the other big thing is just psychologically being able to handle it so when you get to the age six seven it's less um, concerning in, tr in those regards six is still a little worrisome seven and eight is considered closer to a normal age range and the other big thing is when they're going through these changes what's causing it 95% of the time, it's considered idiopathic. We don't know why there's this early activation. It could be due to obesity, nutritional status, but in very rare cases, there could be tumors in the gonads, the ovaries, the testicles that are leading to these changes. So I think it's really important for children to go to their annual well checkups, be evaluated so that the first signs of puberty are um, checked out and noticed, and so that too much time doesn't progress so that something more serious gets missed.